And today on Across the Fence, we're pleased to present the winners of the fourth annual WCIX-TV High School Video Contest. The contest is coordinated by WCIX-TV vi videographers Joe Carroll and Michael Saka. We're going to start with our first place video produced by students from Bellows Free Academy in St. Albans, Vermont. And from BFA, we're happy to have with us Matthew McNeil, who is a junior, and Mark Parent, who is a senior. Congratulations on being the first place winners of the high school video contest sponsored by WCIX-TV. Matthew, your video deals with Ben and Jerry's building an ice cream plant in St. Albans. What made you decide on that for the theme of your winning entry? Well, the idea was originally given to us by my family. And since we both like Ben and Jerry's ice cream very much, we thought it would be interesting to find out all about the new factory and uh, the effects it was going to have on our town. Mm -hmm. Mark, what was the most uh, difficult thing in putting the video together? Well, I think the most difficult thing was the final editing because Matt and I went out and um, took footage during school and after school. Our J Jerry Greenfield interview, which was our most important interview, was during school. We had to take time off with, from school to tape him. And when it was all over with, we had about four hours of final footage, which we had to be edited down to five minutes. And it was hard to pick out what you wanted to choose from and where to put it, and I think that was the most difficult That's thing. That's the most difficult thing in the news business, too. Now we're going to look at the winning video in this year's WCIX-TV High School Video Contest produced by students at Bellows Free Academy in St. Albans, and Joyce Kemp was their advisor. Well, you know, Ben and I are old friends from junior high school. We met in seventh grade in Long Island, where we were in the same gym class together, and we were the two slowest, fattest guys in the class running around the track. And so, uh, you know, we were kind of in this little pack way behind the other pack, and uh, you get to be friends back there. Uh, we finally decided we'd like to do something that was going to be fun, where we could work for ourselves, be our own bosses, and since we'd always both like to eat quite a bit, we picked ice cream. And we took a correspondence course in how to make ice cream. And we opened up in an abandoned gas station in Burlington in 1978. And just kind of grew a little bit every year. And uh, now we're coming to St. Albans. On these 42.5 acres in St. Albans, Ben and Jerry's will be building a new ice cream factory. It is approximated that the new factory will cost $10 million to build and will have the capacity to produce three times as much ice cream than the plant in Waterbury. Construction will finally begin after years of Mayor Ferkey and St. Albans trying to bring Ben and Jerry's to their town. We went after them in 19, I believe it was 84, and uh, of course they went they went to Springfield and they went to Waterbury and we, we gave it a good shot, so now we really, really feel good. We didn't give up on them and uh, apparently they didn't give up on us. The Franklin Grand Island Industrial Development Commission is optimistic that the new plant will provide a boost for the area's economy. They believe a plant of 200, uh, 200 employees is an optimum size for them as far as management and production and efficiency. So that's what we anticipate the maximum plant size to be. 200 jobs is great for Franklin County. There were many factors involved in Ben and Jerry's decision to choose St. Albans. St. Albans is a community that we know very well, uh, largely as a result of our long relationship with the St. Albans Co-op, uh, which has been, you know, one of our, our better supplier relationships. The Co-op and the farmers in the Franklin County area have provided us with the very best in cream and milk. Uh, that's a good basis from which to start. We, we've, you know, had such, uh, such a good relationship and gotten such good products and good service uh, that we feel really good about the town and uh, I think we're really excited about coming to St. Albans. Uh, the biggest thing about Ben and Jerry's coming to uh, St. Albans is that it almost guarantees that we will continue to sell them milk not only now but in the future. If they would have located their plant in St. Johnsbury or, or anywhere else, St. Albans Co-op would have still continue to sell them milk but for how long you never know things happen but by having their new plant two miles from their plant I think that's uh, that looks good for the future the main production of the St. Albans factory will be ice cream pints the pints Ben and Jerry's biggest seller are commonly found in supermarkets across the nation that by the time the, the plant is uh, uh, completed we probably will have some different flavors available than what we have now but I'm sure you'll see some Heath Bar Crunch and you know, you're the old favorites coming out of that, that facility as well. 
The new Ben & Jerry's plant will provide insurance for the demand of Franklin County's dairy products. Ben & Jerry's already uses 86,000 gallons of milk, 8,300 gallons of cream, and 5,000 gallons of condensed milk to make 24,000 gallons of ice cream every day. But the availability of dairy products is not the only reason that Ben & Jerry's has stayed in this area. We like Vermont. Well, you know, part of, part of what our company does is uh, we have a social mission that is equally important with our quality mission and equally important with our economic mission. So, you know, part of what we try to do as a company is to be uh, a good neighbor and to contribute to the quality of life. And we've always felt like we're a Vermont-based company. We use all Vermont dairy products. And we, we want to manufacture all our ice cream in Vermont. We really believe that, uh, that business as an institution has an incredible amount of power to uh, to change the way things are, to make uh, community life uh, better, to improve the quality of life, not just for our employees uh, and for our communities, but for the world as a whole. And uh, uh, we're really excited about um, the success that we've had to date and excited about continuing to provide that kind of a, a model of the way business can operate positively in the world uh, for the future. Well done, gentlemen. Uh, Matthew, what did you learn from this experience, and would you like to uh, pursue video as a career? Well, I really learned to appreciate the daily news programs because I think few people realize how many hours of work goes into making just a few uh, minutes of usable film, mm -hmm. and then the programs have to deal with that every day. They sure do. Yeah. Mark, uh, there's a lot of optimism in your video about uh, the Ben and Jerry's plant uh, doing in Franklin County. Mm -hmm. what, what's your feeling about that? Well, I think that the Ben and Jerry's, n new Ben and Jerry's plant will obviously provide uh, support for Franklin County's growing economy, as well as the uh, St. Albans area unemployment rate, which is very high right now. And it will also provide a sense of security for the Franklin County's dairy farmers, which right now are in a depression of the milk prices which are being provided for them. Congratulations to both of you on winning and uh, the winners of the WCAX TV high school video contest for 1991, Matthew McNeil and Mark Parent from BFA in St. Albans. And now we'll move along for an excerpt from the second place winning video produced by students from South Burlington High School.